Hi, here is your lower body strength and plyometrics workout. In this workout, we're using one set, of, well, I have one set of heavy dumbbells. Feel free to have a range if you have them on hand as well. So, how is it gonna go? So there's a time drop format. So each circuit, we're gonna drop down time. We're gonna start with 60 seconds, we'll go to 45, we'll go to 30, we'll go to 20. Each circuit has three exercises and we'll do them three times through. Rest for about a minute in between each circuit. The circuits have a different focus. So the first one, we're just going for one main exercise, slow and steady, as in one main movement. The second one, we're gonna do a bit of combination moves for our exercises. The third one is gonna be body weight and we're gonna be adding in some explosive exercises. And the last one is a bit of a Tabata, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for the glutes, just to burn them out a little bit towards the end. So we're gonna warm up, we're gonna cool down. Um, it's not as hot today in London, the heat wave has passed. September is here, um, autumn is here, so hopefully we won't get as sweaty as normal, but we'll see, I mean, famous last words. So let's start with a warm up. So because we're doing legs, we're just gonna start warming up the backs of our legs with some good mornings. So let's hinge the hips back and up. Really important to keep the back nice and straight. So focus more on stretching those hamstrings and the glutes, opening up through the backs of the legs before we start. A couple more here. So today, exercises, so the first round, I know that was a lot of information, the first round is 60 seconds. So I just want you to think of going slow and steady. We're not trying to rush through. We're just gonna work slow tempo because it's strength. You have opportunity to amp it up later. Let's go for one more, hinging back, coming forwards. Let's go into some sumo squats, so heels in, toes out, squatting down, nice and low, and up. So we're gonna squat today, we're gonna lunge, we're gonna move in all directions as well, just so we're keeping, making sure we're used to moving the body forwards, to the side, etc. Down and up. And if you only have one dumbbell, you can do it as well with one, no problem. A couple more here, down and up, down and up. Very nice. We're just gonna come to the bottom of our mat, wake up the hips a little bit with world's greatest stretch. So let's roll down through the spine, plant the palms, walk out to your plank, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, really sink into the hips here. If it's quite a lot for your hips, just drop the knee. And I'm gonna open up the right hand towards that right side, twisting the spine and rotating back, left, right hand goes on the left. So rotate the spine open and coming down. So I am instructing right or left and that's exactly the right or left I'm doing, but um, obviously that will be mirrored for you. So feel free to just mirror me if that's easier when you're following along. One more. As long as you're doing one side and then the other, it doesn't really matter what side you start with. Um, I was, I was, um, someone asked me how we're switching sides, just switching. Someone asked me how to remember. They always forget which side they start on. And then there was a tip that said, if you start on your weaker side, you might remember, then you'll remember which side you start on, which is quite handy. Last one, rotate palm down and just step back into a plank and we're just going to drop the knees and we're going to hips down into like a little cobra so just waking up the core a little bit tuck the toes hover the knees into a down dog let's do that again knees down hips up waking up the core and the lower back a little tuck the toes push back although it's legs we're still going to be using our core a lot using our spine, we'll be holding those dumbbells on our shoulders. We need to make sure they're nice and awake as well. And coming back, stay in your down dog, just pedal through the heels. Bend the knees a lot here so you can really wake up the shoulders as well. You might be hearing the parakeets outside. There's no pneumatic drill today, but those parakeets Couple more, just waking up the ankles for the squats. And let's drop the knees down. So coming onto all fours, let's fix my mat. 
coming onto all fours, we're going to wake up the glutes a little bit. From here, I just want you to hinge the right knee up. So think pointing the ceiling, core's nice and tight. I'm just going to poke through the ceiling, squeezing the glute. Think squeeze the glute, relax the glute. We're going to do five more. So we're going to do eight of these. Four. Keep the core nice and tight. Three. Two. Try not to arch in the back. One. Let's go. Bring the knee back in line with the knee. We're going out to the side. Eight. Lift and hold. And down. Seven. So as I'm lifting, I'm trying not to rotate the knee. I'm just lifting up like I'm opening a book. Hinging open. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, and let's switch sides. So if your wrists are hurting, go onto your forearms. We're just gonna go to the other side, up, squeeze, and down. So this is also really good, it's gonna wake up the core as well. Working already, getting that those glutes awake. Nice and slow, six, seven. Last one, eight, and then let's go up to the side. So I'll just show you from the front. I'm just going straight to the side and down. Doesn't matter how high you're getting, I just want you to think, knee stays in line with knee, squeeze the outer glute, squeeze the thigh. Five, four, three, two, I'm really trying to squeeze that's why my voice is quivering last one and down good let's so tuck the toes again and let's just bring the heels down walk up to standing and roll up through the spine nice and slowly just gonna wake up with a little bit of a little bit of star jumps so waking up the shoulders waking up the legs and the ankles so we're just gonna star jump up nice and gentle if you're modifying, you're going to go here, here. So when we get to the jumping part later, feel free to take out the jump. Step, 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 step instead. If you're doing low impact. Nice and wide with the arms. For five, four, three, two, one. Coming down, we're just going to bring the knees up. Think pull, pull, waking up the core as well. So I'm going to core nice and engaged. Pulling down. Got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, feeling nice and warm. Let's go. Okay. So our first three moves for round one, we're going to be in a squat, dumbbells here or here, wherever you find comfortable. We're going to go two seconds down. We're going to hold for two seconds. I'm going to come two seconds up. Then we're doing a sumo deadlift, deadlifting like so. Then we're just gonna do a rever alternating reverse lunge with a knee drive. So grab your weights. We've got 15 seconds between the, the exercises, starting with that squat. So let's go. So we go down, hold for two, and up for two. So it's a really nice one as well to wake up that lower body whilst we're starting with the workout watch those knees you want to keep the knees tracking exactly the same as they are from the side you want the back to remain as is when you come up so I always say try to avoid like a little twerk situation it's really tempting to twerk up I want you to think down control it pause and up. We've got about 10 more seconds. So because it's slow and steady, this minute is perfect to get some good quality reps in. Three more seconds. Let's try and fit one more in. And dumbbells down for a sec. So we're going to our sumo deadlift. I'm going to go at a little angle so you can see. So doing that hinge that we did at the beginning. But our legs are wide, heels in a little. Okay? And here we go. 
So, hinging the hips back, core's nice and tight. Let the knees bend, just gives you a bit more space. And up. So we're not squatting down. I'm initiating the movement by sticking that bum out. Take lots of core. Let those dumbbells just slide down. Core's tight. Hinge, hinge. Back we go. If you're feeling this at all in the lower back, I want you to just drop down to one weight because we are adding a little bit more tension to the core in this sumo start. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and up. Popping these down for a second. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Reverse lunge with a little knee. No, we're just reverse lunging. No combo move here. Reverse lunge. Three, two, one. So you just go back, push through that front leg, to come up to the top. Back and up. When you step back, step back on that tiptoe. So both knees are still tracking forwards. Sometimes people put their whole foot down and then you come out of sort of alignment. So if I have to keep both toes pointing forwards so you can get that lunge on. Reverse and up. Pushing through that front leg. Knee doesn't have to touch the floor. I want you to try and get down as far as you can. Five more seconds. Last one. Popping those down just for a second, just to give the hands a little bit of a rest. Front rack, two, two, two. Catching that breath, let's grab our weights. Three, two, let's do it. So down, pause. Engage those glutes, up. So if you're feeling it a lot in the front of your thighs, we're going to do squeezing the glutes at the bottom, and then coming up. Inhale down, pause, and up. Keep going, keep those elbows in. Down, pause. Slow and steady. I haven't filmed a leg day workout in a little while. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been doing more like full body vibes, but we're gonna get it today. Last one, down and up. Two, one, rest. Okay, sumo. Core's nice and tight. If you feel it lower back, don't go down as far. Either remove the weight. Add some core, two, one. Back's nice and straight. And let's hinge the hips back and up. So I'm taking everything nice and slow. A minute is a long time. And we want to make sure that th form, I was gonna say form, that form stays right. Hinge. And up. Hinge. Got that lunge coming up next. If you want to challenge yourself, you can drop the knee in your lunge and push up if you want a little bit extra. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Let those glutes expand like we did in the good mornings. About 10 more seconds. Hinge. And up. Last one. Three, two, one. Very nice. Reverse lunge. Second time, then we're doing this one more time. And then the time gets to drop, yay! Grab the weights. Going in three, two, one. Reverse. 
and up. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. That helps get a nice amount of oxygen in. Sometimes when you breathe through the nose, through the mouth, in through the mouth, you end up being sort of like a little hyperventilating situation. Slow and steady. Ten seconds. Keep the knees nice and stable. Four, three, two, one. Last round. Last round of a minute. We're doing amazing. You have options always. The aim is just to keep moving for the minute. Whether you drop down weights, however you need to get there. We're going in two, one. Let's do it. So we go down. Two, pause. And up. Two. Two. Now, if the sumo deadlift is too much, give me a normal deadlift, okay? And up. Leg day, I'm so much quieter. Trying to focus on that form. It's got 15 more seconds. Last couple, last one, I think. Got five seconds. Two, one. Woo! Okay. See my deadlift. 10 seconds. And then we have two more exercises at a minute. Then we get a lovely minute to rest. Going in two, one. Let's go. Hinging back. Tilt that pelvis. Tilt. So I'm bringing my chest forward, sending my hips back. Sending my hips back to bring my spine forward. And that's the vibe. Almost there. core drawing in. Last time for these guys. 20 seconds. Last 10. Down, down, down. Five. Three, two, one. Dumbbells down. Okay. Last time for the lunges, then all new moves. Going in about five seconds to grab them weights. And let's reverse. Down. With lunges, it's a stability exercise. So really think how stable can you be coming up and down. Take it slow as you need to. Don't rush these. Slow and steady. Last sort of 20 something seconds. And then we rest. Keep moving, you can do it. Just a few more. 15 seconds. Final 10. Few more. Shh. Last one. Down. Up. And rest. Oh my gosh. Can you see? You see the sweat? <laughs> you see the glow? Okay, I'm gonna sip some water. I'm gonna move on. So, we're gonna do 
it's like combo round, 45 seconds on. So we're gonna goblet squat to a curtsy lunge, to a squat, to stand. Alternating sides, so squat, curtsy, squat, stand. Then do like a little round, little clockwork lunge. So I'm gonna forward lunge, then I'm gonna lunge at like three o'clock, then I'm gonna lunge at laterally, so at nine o'clock, then I'm gonna do the other side. Forward, side, side. Then, I'm gonna do sumo. This time, we're just gonna hold the dumbbell down here, or here, I should goblet it again. We'll go down, we're gonna do heel, calf raise, calf raise, stand. Is that calf raise? Yeah, I always think heel pop. It's calf raise as well. Okay, let's grab that one dumbbell. Curtsy, squat, curtsy. Two, one. So squat, curtsy, squat even. So we squat down and up. Curtsy, oh sorry, I forgot we stay low <laughs> in the squat. Let's squat, come up a little bit. Curtsy, squat, stand. Squat, curtsy, squat, stand. Squat. So because we're doing like a little lingering in the moment moment. We're dropping the time down. Curtsy, squat, stand less than 10 seconds. Squat, curtsy, last one. Squat, stand. Resting there. Okay, I'm gonna lunge. I'm gonna grab both. I'm gonna go forwards, three o'clock, lateral. So I'm standing quite far back today low and steady. So go forward lunge, to the side, to the side, forwards, to like a little diagonal, to the side, again. Ten seconds. Have a balance. Three, two, one. Rest. Whew. That one might be the um, the spicy one of the the three. Sumo, heel, heel, stand. Goblet. Two, one. Let's go down. Hold nice and low, heel, heel, stand. I'm gonna alternate heels for the fun, just for the lols. Heel, stand. Stand, woo, down, heel, heel, stand. So I'm trying to stay Nice and low, do the heel, heel. 10 seconds. Five seconds, heel. Three, two, one. Okay, back to the start. Goblet squat, curtsy. Goblet squat, curtsy. Round two of the circuit. Read somewhere that circus only circus if there's no rest. So it's a hit, I guess. Who cares? <laughs> Sorry. It's all like, it's the same. It's all the same. Someone's shouting, we're going, it's not the same. We're working out to time. Keep that core engaged as well. Take a nice big step with that curtsy. Maybe do the curtsies. Or the spice makers. Maybe it's all spicy. 10 seconds. Five seconds, let's go. Fit one more in. Squat, stand. Okay, 10 seconds. Catch that breath. I'm gonna start with my other leg this time. I'm gonna start with a little TikTok anti-clockwise. So I'm going to 12, 
and then we're gonna go to whatever this is 11 or 10 11 9 12 2 3 this one I think you can get through like two rounds on each leg if that's helpful we just that don't worry about the pace you're not getting two rounds but sometimes I like to think of what I'm aiming for it helps three two one and up sumo second to last time I'm I'm wearing the type of leggings, I'm going to get a massive patch here, so buckle in guys, the sweat is real, no photoshop here, not that I know how to photoshop, but I'm sure someone has created a YouTube on how to remove sweat stains from, from photos and videos, but I've got no time for that. Also, I'm sweating, so we sweat, we sweat. Heel, and up. 15 seconds. Stand, then one more time through, and we move on to 30, 15. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, squat curtsy, squat curtsy, last time. When will I learn to bring a towel? Never. Okay, five seconds. So set up. Let's go. Squat. If you want more, <laughs> you can. I laugh because this is my limit right now. If you want more, you can stay low the whole time and see how long. You can go squat curtsy, squat curtsy, nice and low. Good option if you drop down to body weight and you're thinking, I want to amp up a little bit. Squat, stand, 10 seconds. Last one, squat, curtsy, squat, stand. Woo, tick tock, whoa. Oh my gosh, I almost took out my toe. Um, always store your dumbbell safely away from toesies. Okay, two, one, last time. Forwards. Diagonal. Lateral. Really good for the knees, this one. To move, really strengthening for your glutes. I can feel my left leg is a lot harder. It's finding it a lot more difficult to do the like diagonal one. And my right. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Dumbbell to the side. Okay, sumo, heel, heel, rest. And that sweet, sweet rest. Three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds. Last time for such a long interval. Shoulders back, keep that back nice and straight. I'm going down. Heel, heel, stand. 20 seconds. The noises are coming in just to keep me distracted for the final five seconds. Get one more in. Let's go. Heel, three, two, one. Oh, dumbbells can go away for now. We won't use them again. And let's get some water in our bodies. Okay, so we're gonna just take a few breaths, let my heart rate come down, 
we're going into that plyometric series. So, me jumping. If you're not jumping, look at me. If you're not jumping, um, just think power in your squat. So we're gonna go down, down, knee, knee, wide, wide, little jump. Just a little one, it doesn't have to be big. Back into the squat. Then, I'm gonna do pulse, pulse, switch. Hold, pulse, pulse, switch, hold. So a little pause, catch our balance. Then we're gonna go sumo, middle, center, middle, center. So with all of those, if the squat, you can go psh. With the lunge switch, you just switch, nice and quick. About 10 seconds. This little cardio blast. It's good to work these muscles as well, these fast ones. And off we go. So we squat, down, down, up, up, jump, squat, down, down, up, up. So I'm alternating, see if you can remember, the last leg that goes up is the first leg that goes down, up, up, jump. Five seconds, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. So we're gonna do pulse, pulse, switch, hold. Pulse, pulse, switch, hold. See how I'm trying to make the lunge jumps a little bit more exciting. Two, one. So we pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. This one's gonna burn. Woo! Pulse, pulse, switch. Five more seconds. Switch. Three, ha, two, one. Rest. Quads are absolutely killing. We've only got a minute left of those total. So think about what we've done already. We can do 30 seconds. Two. One, so let's tap in the centre, in and out. Tap, 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 tap. Notice how I'm slowing down that squat. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Round two. Ten seconds. Catch your breath. I might go silent. Need to concentrate. Surrender. Oh, let's do to knees. Squat to knees to jump. I hate the surrender. I hate that squat surrender so much. So I'm going to stop saying it. Down. Down. Now you're in charge of your breathing, you're in charge of your interval, you're going to just keep moving. Five more seconds. Three, two, very nice. We're going to stay here and breathe. Lunge jumps, pulse, pulse, jump, hold. Three, two, one, let's go. Pulse, pulse, switch, hold, balance. Whoop. Finding my balance is hard today. Switch, pulse, pulse, switch. Legs are tired, I'm sorry. Just gonna keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, this is real. Look at me, I told you, sweat patches have arrived. Pop sumo pop squats. Pop sumo squats. Let's go. Down, up. One more round of this. Then we've got a Tabata. That's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three, 
three, two, one. Ah. I'm trying to do more of this kind of stuff in my workouts. I've been slacking on the old jumps lately. Here we are, we're doing it together. Last round, and let's squat. Knee, 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 jump, land. for those lunges. Five more seconds, we can do it. Even if you have to slow down or take a brief pause like I am, I'm still stopping too. This is difficult, but this is gonna help train that body. Oh, switch, hold, ah, pause, pulse, switch, hold. Ah. 10 seconds. Switch. Pause. Pause. Switch. Last one. Switch. Hold. Oh. Oh my gosh. If you've done some of my leg workouts before, you know, lunge jumps seem to be the thing I find the most challenging. But I put them in, They're keeping me accountable. Pop squats last time. Down. Up. Twenty seconds. Working. Ten. Six. Three. Two. Last one. One. Oh. Yes. Let's come down to the mat. Have a breather. We made it to the end. Final circuit. Quads are burning. Woo! Take some big inhales and exhales. I'm just gonna have a sip of water and then we've got our glute vibes. So, nice and simple. Single leg glute pulse and then a leg raise. So we're gonna be doing glute pulsing on one side, single leg bridge, sorry. Pulse on one side, then we're just gonna turn onto that side and leg raise that same leg. And then we'll do the other side, okay? So we've got 20 seconds, 20 seconds to catch your breath. I'm gonna bring the time a bit closer just so I can see it when the time comes. Last round. At some point during these workouts, trust me, if you think, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm gonna finish, I also am thinking that too. I'm like, wow, who planned this? All right, let's do right leg up, left leg down, let's go. So go up, squeeze the glute, come down. Up, and down. So I'm not coming down the whole way, just a little pulse. My right leg's just bent and relaxed. If this is too much, you can bring the right leg down, give me a regular bridge, or you can do it with your right heel popped. Woo, down, yes. Just rolling onto my left, so my left leg is down, right leg's up, gonna be up, on the shoulder, lift the core away, lifting up the top, we're just pulsing here. Keep the core nice and tight. My leg's parallel with my other leg, foot is flexed, push that floor away, so we're getting core as well, glutey, take that foot slightly behind your body, for three, two, one. Ooh, let's see the other side. I'm gonna swivel around because I'm gonna be coming on to my other side this time. Left, right leg's down. Let's bridge down and up. Pulsing, 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 pulsing. Pulse, pulse. Seven, six, keep pulsing. Five, four, think of squeezing the glue. Squeeze, 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 and down. Good, let's come onto the side. So I've got my elbow underneath 
my shoulder, bottom leg's just bent. Think of being hips on top of hips. Right leg's up, left leg's up even. Going up and down, pulsing here. I'm squeezing the thigh for 10. Six, five, three, two, one, down. Lovely, if you like, if you want more, you could just pulse through the timer and then start when we start. Right leg up, left leg down, let's do it. Up, pulsing at the top. Shh, shh, shh. Pulse, pulse, keep the ribs soft, pulse, pulse. Shh, shh. Squeeze that glute, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Well, two, one, down. Woo, come on to the side. One more leg lift on this side, then we're repeating on the other, and then we're stretching out. Core's nice and tight, lift to the top. Pulsing here. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to lift and hold. Holding. We're going to hold it up. Squeeze the glute. Keep squeezing. Five, four. Keep squeezing. Three, two, down. Coming down. Let's do the other side. Last little push. <laughs> My sweat is ridiculous. So right leg's down, left leg's up. Up we get. Let's pulse. Oh, timer. Oh, sorry. Up, let's pulse. Ch, ch, ch. Pulse, 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 pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. Core's tight. Glutes are squeezing. Let's pulse. Four, four, three, two, one, lower down, leg down. Come onto that side, doing those left leg lifts with that little hold to finish. Getting ready. Two, one, lift the core away, lift the lower. Pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Keep that foot parallel. So think of the foot being along the floor rather than turning up. For seven, six, three, two, one, hold, hold for nine, eight, seven, my glutes shaking, three, two, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, and relax, we made it, oh, we made it, incredible, 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 let's lie down, let's have a little stretch, let's lie on our backs, hold both knees into the chest for a second, oh, and just relax, you can roll from side to side, just release, any tension on the back. You can roll, let's put hands on the knees. Let's send the knees away. Let's send the knees away from each other. Sorry, let's push the knees forward. Let's push the knees away from each other. So we'll open up the hips, bring them back and send them forward. So we're circling the hips in opposite, and the knees in opposite directions. Just relaxing the hips and let's reverse. Round, I always think of like, if you have two pots, on the stove, on the hob, and you had some, had some spoons, <laughs> you'd probably be stirring opposite, right? I don't know, maybe you wouldn't, maybe you would stir the same way, but I can't, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sometimes my, my imagery works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's put the left foot down on the floor, flat, and hold behind the right thigh. I'm just going to keep the thigh still as we bend and stretch that leg. So we're just stretching out the hamstring the back of the thigh, bending and stretching, let's do one more, hold the leg up, I'm just going to flex and point the foot, so stretching the calf and the ankles, they did loads of work, my hands are so so um, sweaty, they're sliding off each other, one more there, bring that ankle, so bring the ankle past the left thigh so your foot is free, and lift up the left thigh, hold behind the left leg and just push the knee away. So think of sending the right knee away from your right shoulder as you draw the left knee into the chest. Um, if this isn't good for you, if, you're not align, if you don't want to align your back or you just find this a bit more uncomfortable, 
or you can't grip like this, then stand up and do it or do a pigeon stretch. So just roll over and do the same. And we're gonna unravel, let the right foot go down, keep the left leg, we're gonna bend and stretch that leg. So let's get the left hamstring. Oh, that was a nice transition, wasn't it? Bending and stretching. One more, keep it stretched, flex and point that foot. So really drive the heel up. It feels a bit uncomfortable. Really important to stretch through that calf and the ankle. Let's release the hand. Let's bring that ankle over the right thigh. Lift it up, grabbing on either this or a variation. Again, you can swivel round. If you find it hard and you're up here, if you've got really tight hips, then just find a wall or something you put your foot on and use your foot as your like push your arms. It's really a really nice stretch. Releasing that. We're just going to come onto our side and do a lying down a quad stretch. So grabbing the foot, turning the hips. <laughs> ah! Don't fall over like I just did. So the hips forwards. So you can bend, take that bottom leg forwards as you send the knee back. Guys, it's the end of the workout. This is it, incoherence and falling over. Classic. Keep sending the hips forward. Release that foot. Let's do the other side. Again, if you're not wanting to lie on the floor, you can do this standing up. Stretching there. Breathing. Lovely release. Let's just come onto all fours. Just do a few cat cows, just to release the lower back as well. Feel nice on that pelvis, coming up and over, nice on the spine and the core. Release that lower back off those deadlifts. Let's do one more. Oh, it feels so good. Tuck the toes, peel the hips up, pedal through the legs, stretching the hamstrings once more. Walk the hands up to the feet. Hang out there just for a second. You can let the knees bend, a little rag doll, and then roll up through the spine all the way to the top. That there was your lower body strength pyramid time drop situation with some jumping, with some combo moves, with some glutes, with the whole shebang. You absolutely smashed it.